This is Frank Taylor coming to you with another Nature in Your Backyard. It's Tuesday, April 14th, and I'm down here at my pond again. And I came down today to see, well, what would I find? Remember, your nature in the backyard, every day I'm going out and looking at what can you find outside your door today. So this is first, second week of April, what things are active? And I found some really, really cool stuff again. I just keep finding cool stuff. There's so much out there if you take time and look. Now, how do I do, did it today? How do I find stuff? Well, what I did was I came down to the pond and I got my net. This is just a, a simple uh, kind of oversized aquarium net. You can see it has a fine mesh and it's perfect for catching aquatic insects. And I go over to the pond and I drag this through the water near the edge, catching a little bit of debris on the bottom. And then I take whatever's in the net and I throw it into a pan like this. And that's it. Sometimes I put a little bit of water in the pan and I just sit still for a moment and watch the pan and things will settle down and you'll find some cool stuff. Today, the cool thing I found that I want to talk about is an insect called the water boatman. And water boatmen are really, really cool for a couple different reasons. And let's take a look at them now. You have fancy science equipment to do great science. What I've got here is I took a empty mayonnaise jar that I washed out carefully with soap and water. And I cut the part of the jar off, leaving the top. And I like this because it has a white bottom. And with the white bottom, I can see things really easily. And right now, I'm looking at, I'm showing you, a water boatman. Now let's see what these guys do. So, and here's another science piece of equipment. This is the leaf, stem of a leaf. And I'm going to use it to stir these guys up a little bit so we can see what they're doing. And here we go. They're laying on the bottom, trying to hide from me. And there they go. And they're off. These guys are water boatmen. And they get their name, water boatmen, because they act like little boats in the water. Like a rowboat. And you can see them paddling around. And when they paddle around, they kind of move in, in jerky motions. And it's just like a rowboat. When you, when, you when you paddle a rowboat, you got oars on each side, and you pull real hard, and then gently bring the oars back, and then pull real hard, and gently pull the oars back again, and that's how you move. So these guys are called water boatmen because they have two of their rear legs are really, really long, like oars on a boat, and they have feathery uh, hairs on the ends of them that act like the paddle part, and they can swim through the water like these guys are doing right now. So water boatmen are actually bugs. Bugs are hemipterans, and we talked about a couple other bugs. We talked about the uh, bed bugs, we looked at stink bugs, and we learned that all bugs have a beak. And so these bugs also have a beak, um, but it's hard to see because their beak is on the underside. These guys eat uh, plant matter. They don't bite, uh, like bed bugs can stab you with their beak and suck blood out of you, and they do that to get nutritious blood with protein in it for their eggs. But these guys feed on plants, and they'll pierce a plant stem and inject some enzymes in it to digest it, and then suck it out like a straw. And here you can see him pushing on those oars really, really hard. So these are true bugs. Bugs are a true category of insects that um, eat, uh, that uh, have a beak. Um, some are predators. Some just feed on plant material like these ones. Now the other thing you can see that these guys have, can you see that silvery edge underneath his wings? That silvery edge is an air bubble. And these guys don't have gills like a um, uh, like fish have. They breathe air from the surface. So every time they uh, need to breathe, they have to go up to get 
to the surface to get another bubble of air. And they keep that bubble of air under their wings and tight closely to their body. Can you see that silvery bubble all around his abdomen? So these guys um, uh, breathe air from the surface, so they're kind of like an aqua lung. You know, they're kind of bringing their air down with them um, uh, whenever they go swim. But here's the most amazing thing about these bugs. Well, I just moved these water boatmen into uh, uh, one of my bug boxes that on the bottom has a grid five millimeters by five millimeters. That's about, each square is about three-eighths inch long. So you can see that these guys are only about a three-eighths of an inch long. And yet, you know what? And here's the crazy thing about them. They may be the loudest animal on the planet for their size. Yeah, loudest animal on the whole planet compared to their size. The, the loudest animal in the world is a, recognized as a great blue whale. Great blue whales are up to 100 feet long, and they can make a sound as loud as a jet plane, 170 decibels. Well, these guys, you can hear the males when they're trying to attract females in the pond. The male will scrape its male organ against its abdomen, making a sound that's up to 90 decibels. You can hear it when you're walking past the pond. They're not doing it now, but look it up on Google and see if you can uh, find uh, uh, Google water boatman sound and you can hear what they sound like. And the next time you go to a pond, you can hear them. So arguably, these guys are probably the loudest organisms on the planet Earth, pound for pound, given their size. Amazing, amazing little creatures. This has been another episode of Nature in Your Backyard. This today, I was in my backyard, and it's just amazing what you can find. Who knew that one of the loudest animals on the planet Earth, given their size, is found right here in Virginia, right here in our backyard, right here in your backyard. You never know what you're going to find. So this has been Nature in Your Backyard. Thanks for tuning in.